an open letter to the fair Jesus from a dusk-toned girl. Dear blonde Jesus, your hair is long like Mount Moron's sloping glistens under the Holy Land sun, but even the fairest Israeli doesn't look like you. Jesus, they look like my mom, a Persian woman whose skin became light through centuries of European integration, but even my mom is considered unusually fair in comparison to her people. Oh, blonde Jesus, pale Jesus. I'm concerned for your health. Maybe you need some sun. I'm sure you would have looked remarkable. Your straw body crucified, your likeness chiseled into figures which hang in the every chapel, molded jewelry, living near your believers' hearts while prayer cards and paperback Bibles sit ironically, ironically next to the black and milds at the drugstore checkout. Fair Jesus. I like your beard. <laughs> it looks soft and I kind of want to touch in my champagne beard, Jesus. Some scholars don't even believe you had a beard at all. This may be why faith is my most existential worry, I guess. Ain't nobody got time for a beardless Jesus. Some scholars believe you had meat curls, woolen hair, and feet like unto fine brass, but the KKK burn that likeness at the cross while singing praise hymns. Like the old rugged cross, they become pauper's fields. How did you go from being the ebony prophet to the Nordic prince of Christiness, platinum Jesus? Short of the insta-marriage chapels, your act is not well-researched. Even Elvis impersonators gain the weight if they need to by the wigs, jumpsuits. They are Xerox proper, but your effigy, your look should have gone out of style by now. Oh, my dear, sweet, bleached Jesus. Your flaxen hair has grown luminous over decades of fundamentalist marketing. Children of your land believe that if you are the manifestation of God, they are but swamp stones of beauty. Watch your children bleach their skin, adolescent girls of India. Watch your children go from beautiful silhouettes to milk and water wrecks. Sammy Sosa better watch brick cages crowd from 1933 to 45. Yellow stars falling under fragrance in circles like wheels for exercise so that Hitler could cleanse this world of the dirty mischief all in praise of fairness. Was it whiteness is next to godliness or something else. I can't remember. I am too blinded by your light. <laughs>